Yesterday, the 30th of July, we celebrated or commemorated the World Day Against Human Trafficking. This was held at Kabira Country Club in Kampala. And this day was kicked off with a, a walk from the Uganda Museum up to Kabira Country Club. Uh, the 30th of July was designated by the United Nations General Assembly in 2013 purposely to create uh, the necessary awareness about the situation of uh, victims of trafficking in persons and also to ensure that governments are held accountable uh, in the measures that they put in place to strategically combat the vice of human trafficking. Uh, the day's theme was to reach every victim of trafficking and leave no one behind. The day was also graced by the chief guest, the Honorable Minister of Internal Affairs, General Kahindo Tafiri, who was represented by the Permanent Secretary, Lieutenant General Joseph Bim Sanyifu, as the chief guest. But also, the occasion was graced by uh, the IOM Chief of Mission, Mr. Savage, the Director, Citizenship and Immigration Control, Major General Apollo Kasita Goa, um, all representatives from CIVIPO, the British Council, GIZ, the Coalition Against Trafficking in Persons, among others. This day witnessed quite a number of things that included, we launched uh, the Trafficking in Persons database, which is at the Ministry of Internal Affairs. This database is intended to assist in data collection. Data will be collected from all over the country, from all police regional administrative units, from all police stations, and will be submitted to the Ministry of Internal Affairs for management. The database will also be very useful to assist policy makers and also uh, to generate our reports by annual or quarterly as and when shall be required. In addition to the database that was launched, there was also a launch of the online directory of service providers. If uh, we've come across something like this, service providers for victims of uh, trafficking in persons in Uganda. This now can be found online and you only have to type in directory.ucatip, that is U-C-A-T-I-P, dot o-r-g when you do that even for any ordinary citizen you can find out which organizations in the country can support any victims that you may come across and depending on the need but this directory will also help uh, in case someone is stuck somewhere and they need urgent attention you can only go online search for this particular service it will also lead you to the respective organizations they are listed in this book then uh, anyone can be able to maybe call up the organization to assist the victims or refer the victims as we've always said to the police station nearest to you <laughs> 